Yuta and Rika from Jujutsu Kaisen O. So I, I watched the whole thing this weekend. It's pretty good. Mappa are doing such a good job on all their franchises that they're working on. So but this was really good. Um, highly recommend. So landscape page, pencil eraser, hit pause if I go too fast, sketch it out lightly, try have fun. You can always do ink on top of pencil, but you can't erase ink. So that's why I recommend pencil to get you started anyway. So let's go. We'll start with Utah and I start with the eyes. So center point here, we'll cross his head's over the right, Rika over here. So typical kind of anime. Well, a little bit different. So we carve up and then we go across and we kind of spike out the end. And we have to, it's quite flat across the top, but we gotta like thicken it up a little bit on the curve here. Right? This curvy part is kind of a little bit thicker than the rest, right? And these are like eyelashes a little bit, so he'll have some lines kind of sticking off here, something off the top. There we go, right? So you want them to be quite spiky kind of at the end. So then the bottom eyelid line. So let's see, it's just like a curved line, I think. Yeah, so there's lots of ways of doing this. So we can go, we'll just go around like this. Right, and sometimes they draw in the tear ducts. But we'll leave it like that. I think it's simpler like that. All right, so he does have another line around the bottom here. Right, with some eyelash kind of lines here going in. Right, so there's iris and pupils. So just starting up here in this top right hand corner, you draw your circle. Top left hand corner, I should say. Back around, so up here in the left hand side of his eye. Okay, and then his pupil in the middle. Drawn in like so, and you can just color it in black. Right, so then he's got an eyelid line up here. Curving that way, and then we go across, like so. And then his eyebrow just above, curving across up here, right? So he started like with this curved line, but then you have to add a space that you can color in, right? So it just goes up, across, and down towards the skinny end back here. And then he could have some like nose lines and stuff there. Another line around his eye here. And he did, like he's all scratches and stuff under his eye, but we'll just get the other eye drawn in first. So we just go over and do the next one. So we curve it up again. And then we'll bring it over. And then we'll thicken up our line. Right, and he has a little spike sticking off there. Another line, just to go back that way. And then like an eyelash sort of thing at the end. And then his bottom eyelid line, again, just curve it around. Up into there. And then we'll do eyelashes down here. Small little dashes, curving that way around his eye. And his iris and pupil, so we're on the left hand side, so he's looking slightly to the left, so it's not bang center of his eye. Like there, slightly to the left of that eye. And then his pupil in the middle. Like so.
Right, and then so there's a line for his eyelid. So you go up and then across. Like that. And then his eyebrow again starts here and goes over this way. And then we have the area that we're going to color in then. Could just do it all black in black line if you wanted. Like so. And then with some like lines here on the end of it. So nose line comes down from this eyebrow, curves down that way, line up in there, and he has hatching lines on the side of his nose. So like, his nose kind of goes this way, and they add these. Lines like that, right? And then just below this, we have a V and then nostrils. And there, and then on this side. So his mouth is open, right? So it goes, goes like up, cross, and then down here, right? So it looks like it's closed, like he's, little sad but we'll open it up go down across up to there we use the line curved line for the teeth on the top like so and then his teeth on the bottom curving around this way and goes up you kind of see, can see some molars and things at the back I think of the sneeze <coughs> Whoa. Excuse me, I apologize if I don't edit that out. Right, some teeth lines there, and then bottom lip, and then his chin. Right, so roughly proportion wise, right, the eyes to the, say the center of his eye to his nostrils is about the same as nostrils to chin. So like here to here, about the same as here to here. And then nostrils to like, say his bottom teeth, right? Is about the same as bottom teeth to chin, just this area here. So here to here, about the same as here to here. Okay, so that's kind of the proportion we're working with. And then we'll go for his jaw. This way. Right, where it's kind of, Three quarter a little bit so this one curves in and then comes out so three quarter pose means like it's not exactly the same both sides see the way this one's kind of straighter and this one curves in a bit three quarter pose is when the character's head is like not facing forward 100 percent all right so then this side will curve around his cheek and go up the side of his head, just here. So it's like slightly higher up, sort of in line with the nose, right? Where it starts to curve. And then this goes up and out towards his eyebrow up here. So then this side will go around for his jaw, up this way. Right, like that. So slightly different now, both sides. So I'll add, just while I'm here, I'll add some scratches just around his eyes and on his face and stuff, you know, because he's got those sort of lines underneath his eye, those random kind of Lines like this. Around here as well. Like 
and then like scratches on his face here. So, ears and hair and things. So, earlobe sort of starts here, right? And top of the ear will come out from his sideburn that's just here, right? So, the top of his ear will come around right here and lines up with his eyebrow, the top of his ear, and the bottom lines up just with the tip of his nose there. Right? And then, ear lines inside, a bit more detail to map his ears and hands and stuff. Of course, this is a promo image, so they always put more detail into promo images than the animation itself. So then, his hairline, right, just up here, you have this sort of V, right, and they start going either side, and then fringe comes over this stuff, right? And if you're wondering how big his forehead is, eyebrows to forehead is about the same as eyebrows to just the tip of his nose, usually in characters that are facing forward. So here to here is about the same as here to here, okay? Roughly. And then we'll go Vs and zigzags just all around his hair here. And this will just join back with the side of his head sort of down here somewhere. Right down there, and then we'll go the other way. This is like all fringe and stuff here. Right, like that. So now, hairlines that come down across his face. So if you know the scene that I'm drawing, you know, it's quite windy. There's all like leaves blowing in the wind and all this kind of stuff. So his hair has been blown, right? So... We start with the fringe here at the front and work our way across and then we'll do the main hair spikes going out the back of his head. So let's go for it. We'll just start adding. Remember hair moves and stuff blows in the wind so it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. There's another little spike coming out here. And then this, so we have, this one is behind the next one. So this like goes up around here. Up this way. There's all texture lines and stuff on these as well, so. It's in there, and then there's another one that comes out this way. Comes down. there. Spike it back here like that. And then another line comes down to there. Right and then the next one comes out down. And of course, any lines you draw over, you'll erase. And then there is some texture lines just like in these gaps, you know, just to show that the hair is growing up around this way and stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then hair sticking out blown this way. So I'll start this side because it curves around here. So 
with the sideburn on this side. I think we just have loads of hair spikes now. Lots of little ones starting. If I go too fast now, remember hit your pause button. Just pause it whenever I do a section. Oh, and I forgot his ear, just in under here. Right, skin ear, because his head is like turned away on this side. Okay. And then back to hair. Lots and lots of hair. behind this one. So some of these texture lines go like the whole way in there. All right, we're getting there. Tricky enough hair now, this. It's a very nice image, this, the way it's drawn. If you type in Jujutsu Kaisen O poster, you'll find this one. And there's really high quality images of it online as well. There's some small ones now behind his ear. And then we'll just add a little bit more texture to these going this way. All right. Okay, so he's doing a hand raise sort of jutsu sort of thing, right? And it's just in front of his collar. So we get the collar done and then we'll do the hand and kind of join it up to his body. So we'll go neck coming down here, neck coming down here. And then we got like some neck muscle lines here and they disappear behind his white collar that he has. And it's kind of a crinkly sort of line, sort of like bumps and stuff this way. And then we go in behind his neck, down the other side. And then this goes out. to there. All right, like this. And we can see a shoulder on this side, so we might as well draw it in. So it just comes out and down, right? And it's just bumpy because 
all the fabric, right? And this white thing is tied with a button, you know, his sort of uniform is white. And then we have some of those spiral lines on that button. So there might be some lines to show that it's sitting on the fabric. And then like his sleeve goes down that way. And again, loads more texture lines and stuff all being pulled this way. You know, some dirt and scratches and stuff because it's a intense fight. Do, 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 do. Right, but we'll do his hand now, okay? So tricky fingers, right? It's like, it's a real delicate sort of thing. So we can see his thumb and the hand is quite big. It's as big as his face, right? Because it's outstretched and it's foreshortened. So that means it's like coming towards the camera. So it gets bigger. Things that come towards the camera get bigger, basically, right? So his middle finger is here. So we might as well start with that. So it just like curves along the top, right? And hands are tricky now, so take your time. So this finger comes down, and they do these lots of these bumps, Mappa do. So it bumps at the knuckle sections, right? So the index finger, or the middle finger, nail is there, and then you'll have like knuckle lines, right? So this comes down, a knuckle down here like so and again you can have like knuckle lines and stuff right so then you have two fingers in behind it and the index finger kind of sticking out here so we'll do the these two first so it comes down this way right and then this comes out to the knuckle and then this will go down off my page Right. So it's like he's doing a rude hand thing at the minute, but um, we've got a knuckle line there. So his index finger comes across this one, right? So it comes across like here. You've got like lots of bumps and stuff on the knuckle sections. It's just the style map I like to do it in. Up there. So it comes down and around, right? And then we got a fingernail. The top. Just there. Knuckle lines coming across. And then this finger goes down towards the knuckle there. And then some more sort of knuckle lines that come in here, maybe with some shadow in there. Like some more sort of knuckle lines on the finger details. So, and then his thumb then. So that's one, two, three, four fingers. So we can just see the thumb then sticking out up here, right? And again, a bump and a bump for a knuckle coming around here up to the knuckle section, which has a couple of bumps like that. And then the thumb goes around like so, and then bumping kind of down there. So really like wrinkly, bumpy fingers. It's interesting. I always find it fascinating the way like animes can draw so differently, like all of them. It's cool. So his thumbnail, just up here, like some knuckle lines on the thumb, like that. Right. 
Okay, so now we have to make it look like this hand is connected to his body. So everything's foreshortened. That means it's like round looking, right? So his sleeve comes down here. And the inside of it comes down from, say, here, right? So these sleeves like that. And there might be a bit of a shadow just in here. Coming around his wrist, right? And then this comes down like that way. So it curves around the bottom. I just don't have room to fit it all in. All right, and then more. So we curve it around here. This is all fabric now. So a sleeve comes around. It comes around the top of this finger here. There's all fabric lines inside. It's all curving around for his shoulder and his arm. Okay, it comes down this way, it connects all in here. And then it connects to there. And that's pretty much all you have to do for that. It's his arm in behind. And that is Utah finished. So I'll try and fit in Rika now. So she's got that third eye sort of thing going on. So the eye in the middle of her forehead. If you know the scene, you'll know what I'm talking about. So it's just here and her head is like pretty big, right? I'm going to, just to fit it in, it's not to scale, but we'll put her head here, okay? So we'll go around like this. So you're kind of like drawing a grain of rice. And then this curves around here for her iris and her pupil in the middle. And you just darken that up. And they like to put um, some eye lines, iris lines just going around like that. So then down under here, we have these bumps that come across the bottom. All right, so like, this is like her top lip or something. Okay, and this will go around for her head. That joins her mouth, right? So this goes up this way. This goes up that way. She, so she has an, actually an extra one just coming out here for her, where it joins her mouth, right? So this will go around real big. So it's real large now. This will go off the top of my page, off up here. Right? And then one goes up the middle. And then they all come down from, from there. So real large goes off the page. one yeah another one sort of goes up here all right we do the same on this side goes up to the top another one here they come to bumps on top as well if you're able to fit it in so then her mouth and her teeth right so we just have this bumpy kind of line wrinkly coming down to a point down here right and sometimes there is some like skin lines or just some like texture on this stuff right like that and does she have ears are they ears hmm. no i think it's like is it a jawbone maybe yeah, there's like a little just triangle sticking off here. It's either her ears or her jawbone. I'm not sure. And then, of course, teeth, right? So a, she has teeth in the middle. So the first one comes down there, and the bottom one goes up there. Right? And then more teeth coming down. Right, like so, you can do this any other way, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. And 
she has a, like a line, a white skin line coming around. Just follow this. And then teeth along the bottom. got some bumps for gum gum line just coming across here and down this way and then the tongue I don't know what's drawn in for the tongue let me see yeah I think our tongue is like just comes up the side here looks like Up under here somewhere. And then a line maybe down the middle. Right, so then whatever we can see of her shoulders and her body, right? So her collarbones will go real bumpy going off the page this way. Right, collarbone that way, and then another one. Sorry, we will have to go in behind you to here. And her arm will go like off down here somewhere, so I can't really see it. So the other collarbone going off that way. And she's got these tentacles coming out from behind her head. Up here. Like another one there. Probably go in behind somewhere. So I'll hang down here, shoulders here somewhere, so you can't really see it. And then like shoulder and neck and things on this side. So like neck muscle lines all going. skin and all that kind of thing so then there's just some like chest muscles and shoulder muscles and things all here so collarbone this like shoulder here so like her shoulder goes off that way shoulder on this side is like in line so we go that way Shoulder muscles go off down there. And then there's all these chest sort of V's or something like bone right here. And then these have rib cage lines, right, that go this way. These tentacles sort of have some black um, circles and stuff on them. So I'll just draw that in, maybe. Right. But that's it. How to draw Rika and Yuta from Jujutsu Kaisen O. Hope it's helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.